What's up team, my name is Mark and welcome back to Making Instagram Bangers, the series where I teach you all the tips and tricks that I use to shoot and edit photos. So today I'm starting a new series called comp Compositing? Compos composites? Photo Compositing. Photo Compositing. So Photo Compositing is the art of taking several photos and blending them together. So in this particular example, I'm going to be taking this photo right here and turning it into this photo right here. So you can already see what's happened. There's a couple of things. First off, I replaced what you could see through the window and added parts of another photo. And secondly, I've added some light rays just to create that sort of epic atmosphere. Like I'm really looking at something cool where in real life I was just looking at a tree. So the idea is you can take several photos and blend them together. So there's a hundred different ways of doing this. I'm going to be showing you some of the methods that I use and that work for me, but it's up to you to see you know, what works the best and how you can line up with your own photos. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so we're in Lightroom right now, and to save time, I've already edited this photo and done the light adjustments that I wanted. I'm going to be talking about how you can replace the content of the window and change it to something else. So this is the original photo, and this is the photo that I'm going to be adding in the window. So I'm just gonna be cropping the top area of this image and putting it inside the window. So first step is going to be to open the photo in Photoshop. So I'm going to hit photo, edit in, edit in Adobe Photoshop. I'm just gonna wait for Photoshop to load, give it some time. Okay, I'm gonna head straight back into Lightroom Click on the second photo and hit photo, edit in, edit in Adobe Photoshop. That way I've got both photos loaded in Photoshop straight away. Okay, now I've got this first image open. First thing I'm gonna do is double click on this layer to unlock it and I'm gonna zoom in just to see what I'm working with. Now, first off, I want to remove the content of this window right here. That way I can add what I want in the background later. So I'm going to grab the quick selection tool, which is this one here and just slowly start brushing away at these windows, there we go, something like that. Just brushing away, there we go, brush, brush, brush. Now depending on how much detail or texture there is in your window, you may have to go back and forth a little bit just to fine tune the selection. I've got a little bit of fine tuning to do here, so I'm just gonna go window by window. So there we go, so I can zoom in. I'm gonna make the brush a little bit bigger. Now, if I hold down the options key, I can start brushing away at some of these edges that don't look as nice. There we go. The idea is you want to make sure your selection is as precise as possible. So if I brush around here, there we go, and fix all of these edges. There we go, these windows are done. So I'm just going to speed up this portion right here. But basically, the aim of the game is to make sure you've got a selection that's as precise as possible and you're not going over some of these edges. So let's just continue around. Okay, there we go. So I've now got a selection that I'm happy with. So I'm just gonna hit select and mask. And then now I can see what the selection is. So I'm just gonna smooth it out a little bit and add a little bit of feather. There we go, just to make sure those edges aren't too harsh. Now I'm gonna hit invert. Okay, now I've got a better idea of what it's going to look like as soon as I remove the background. So that looks pretty good to me. So I'm just gonna hit okay. And now I'm going to click add layer mask. There we go, now the background is removed. Now I can add in my own background. So I'm just going to go on this second photo and let's drag this out a little bit. And now let's drag this in here. There we go. Looks pretty good. I'm just going to drag it underneath our first layer. And there we go. I can now position this the way I want. There we go. Something like that. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now, it does look too bright. So what I'm gonna do is add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. And I'm gonna punch the brightness up. There we go, something like that. And let's bring the contrast down a little bit. There we go, that already looks much better. Let's move this around a little bit, just play around, see what looks best. There we go, something like. 
Something like that looks good, I reckon. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, that's already looking pretty good. Now, I want to add some light rays to this photo. So there's a hundred different sources for these. You can just type light overlays or light rays on Google Images and you can find a bunch. There's packs you can buy. There's all sorts of different options online. Now I've got a bunch that I already use. So let's grab them here real quick. There we go. Now, for this tutorial, I reckon this one here is going to look the best. So if I drag that in here, Let's rotate it 90 degrees. There we go. Hit enter. And let's drag it to the top. There we go. Something like that. Now let's position it the way we want. I might just resize a little bit more. I want these rays to go way out. I'm going to make them quite transparent. There we go. Hit enter. Okay, now we're going to set this layer to screen. There we go. And now that already looks really good. So the second step is going to be to blend it in. So again, let's put a layer mask on this layer and press B to get the brush tool and let's get a bigger brush somewhere around. There we go. Something like 300. There we go. So hit D to reset your brush and X to invert it. And there we go. I can start brushing away at these lines. So if I zoom in real quick, and start brushing away at this curtain where the light shouldn't be. There we go. Just slowly brushing away. Something like that. There we go. This is starting to look more realistic already. There we go. And brushing around the top as well. Okay, I feel like there's a bit too much light going to the right, so I'm going to get a bigger brush. Somewhere around. Something obscenely big like this. And just slowly brush some of these rays out, just ever so slightly. There we go, something like that. And let's brush around the top just a little bit. There we go, just to dim that light. And we're looking pretty good already. If you look at the before, and the after. This is already looking really, really good. I'm super stoked with this. So I reckon this is as good as it's going to get on this edit. So I'm just going to hit save and this is going to save the file so we can now edit it in Lightroom. Okay, and we're back in Lightroom now. Whenever I do adjustments like these, I always feel like it tends to play a little bit on the light adjustments that I had before. So I always like to fine tune it just a little bit before I export it. So as you can see, there is a little bit of white clipping going on here. So if I pull the highlights down, a little bit, not too much. Maybe pull the whites down as well to get rid of some of that clipping and push the contrast up just a little bit. There we go, something like that. And last but not least, we're going to crop this photo for Instagram. So I'm going to hit the crop tool, go to 4x5, press X to flip the selection, and let's rearrange it a little bit somewhere around here. There we go. Boom. Look at that. So much better and such a stronger vibe to it. It's no longer the same photo. It's not telling the same story. This has got so much more to it. So there you have it guys. Using pretty straightforward and simple tools, we can start compositing photos together. So for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be showing you different ways to composite photos. May it be adding characters in, moving things around or removing elements that you don't like and giving you all the tools you need to start compositing photos yourselves. If you found any of this helpful, leave the video a like, drop me a comment. Let me know what you want to see next. Um, if you're new to the channel, my name is Mark. I'm a photographer, videographer, and I teach you all the things that I know. So make sure to hit the subscribe button. There's going to be a lot more coming soon. In the meantime, stay creative, guys. Take care.